Tommy, is it a case of uh, lack of concentration at the end of the first half that brought those, but certainly the second goal in? Yeah, lack of um, game management, to be honest with you. something that we've been working on two, three weeks. I thought the penny had dropped with the boys, but clearly not. Um, to give two goals away um, with four minutes to go of the, of the first half ultimately has, has killed the game. Um, both, again, preventable like they were at Chorley. So the, the penalty should never have happened because we had the we had possession of the football that should have got put in the channel for Greg Mills to go on attack and we might have had a chance. Instead, we make a bad decision on the halfway line. They counter us, cuts inside and it did look soft, but it was all preventable. So it's a referee's decision. He has the whistle. He gave the penalty. Um, he was He's the man in charge. He gave it. We have to deal with it. The second one, we put it out for a corner, um, which I thought probably could have gone out for a throw in. It looked a bit dubious of why it gone out for a corner, but it went in. But then, when we have such a height advantage, um, and I back people go, like, Do you know what, this is like men versus boys stuff, boys going to head the ball, we, we didn't head the ball. And I think when you're defending compared to attacking, whether the littlest man on the pitch has actually scored the goal, it comes down to the fact, do you really want to head that football? We didn't, they scored. Of course, that gives you the opportunity at the second half, well, at the break, to actually pull them together, reassess the situation and uh, come out fighting. It took a while, it seemed, the second half to, really, to even maybe react, and that didn't happen until after the, the penalty was awarded and Greg Mill scored. Yeah, because I thought we were, we were very slow starting. Um, the second half, I thought we, we were on top probably for the first half hour of the game. We, we looked the better team, but we didn't really have that cutting edge. We didn't really attack with any tempo or didn't really look like we, we, we really thought we could go on and, and score the goals to ultimately put it to bed. But um, we go 2 0 down, yeah, we, we, we livened up, but you're always going to get that initial reaction um, off the back of scoring a goal. But like I said that the damage was done first half again. It makes your job so much more difficult now. You've got another hard game against Bild on Tuesday night. It's a long journey, it's a long trip and, and a tough game of football. It is, you know, the boys um, will now come in on Monday night because um, we clearly need to work on a few bits before we play on Tuesday. So a few of them were, were una- unable to train, so more than a few, probably five or six were unable to train on Thursday. So they haven't trained as much this week as what they should have done, which I think reflected in their performance today. So we'll now train on Monday night, we'll work on things that we should have worked on last Thursday because we now need to go up to Fylde and get something, otherwise it's, you know, you're going to be looking at well, we've got four points out of twelve of a possible 12 so far this month going up to a team that are absolutely flying and a title candidate, so we need to go and get something now. Brian Robbins has come in, He's, he looks incredibly quick, he should be a great asset, mm. that's why you've brought it in I guess. Why isn't he playing at Boston? Have they just got too many players? Yeah, I think that's, that's a luxury when you're at the right end of the, of the table and a, a big, big budget. I think that's something that you have that luxury. He's, he's carrying a lot of centre forwards. Um, obviously, Ryan wants to play games. He's, he's came here, delighted to, to get him in. I think he'd be a massive, a massive asset for us. Obviously, he's limped off today with a hamstring injury, so we need to assess that and see and see if he'd be fit for Tuesday. Are you also disappointed that you don't have a game scheduled next weekend, obviously with that game being pulled forward before Christmas, so that you didn't have gaps before the Christmas programme? Yeah, and that's going to be frustrating, you know, but a lot of teams don't play on Tuesday night either, so it's, it swings around about. So we, we've got our game comes on Tuesday, whether or not it's Tuesday or Saturday, I, I don't read anything into that. You know, the boys need to um, prepare in the same way, so like I say, we'll do our preparation on Monday. Lads need to look after themselves tonight, tomorrow, because um, we need a reaction now again on Tuesday to try and get some points on the board. Um, because, like I say, it's, we have no control over everybody else next weekend, so now we're in charge of our own hands um, on Tuesday. Thanks, Ty. Cheers, Joe.